To disable and enable points on a Notifier 3030, start by pressing Main Menu, and then press Program Alter Status. Enter the maintenance password, which is typically all ones. Then press Accept, Alter Status Menu, Enable Disable. You're going to need to know the loop and the address number of the device you're going to disable. This is a standalone system, so leave that as Node 0. We're going to disable Loop 2, Detector 001. Press Accept. It'll show you the address you entered. It'll tell you where it is here. Press the Disable, and then press Yes to confirm. After it's complete, back out of the menu, all the way, and you're going to have to acknowledge the trouble because that device is disabled. If you want to re-enable that device, you're going to have to go back into the menu. You'll need to re-enter the maintenance password. Next, you want to reselect that point, press Accept, then press Enable. After that, press the Back button to the main screen. To disable a module instead of a detector, you need to change this to say Module. Then choose your loop and your address. We're going to do loop 1, address 10. Press accept. There's our address and there's the description of that address. Disable. And then you say yes, you're sure. When you're done, back out of the menu and you need to acknowledge the trouble. Re-enabling that device is the opposite of disabling it. Once you have it up, press accept, press enable, and then exit out to your main screen. Besides detectors and modules, you can disable other features in the system, such as zones, but you kind of need to know how the system's programmed. And when you keep pressing it, you'll go all the way around the menu and come back. This is to show the difference between detectors, these are detectors, and modules. This is an input module and an output module, a multiple input module and a multiple output module. 